We all know Elementor Pro is a page builder, but it has built-in features which allow you to sell digital products. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to sell your digital products using Elementor Pro. We will not be using external plugins or any paid plugins. Everything I'm going to show you is within Elementor Pro. Now, before I get started, I'd also like to remind you that I have a link in the description below to purchase Elementor hosting. Okay, so the first thing you want is to decide what kind of digital product you're going to sell. So in this example, I'm going to go with a PDF, which has to do with gardening, how to get started with gardening. So I've gone here and... Um, gone to pexels.com because I want an image that relates to gardening. So this is the image that I'm going to use. So all I have to do is to download it. And the size I need is 1920 by 1282. I'm going to click on download. And as you can see here, it is downloading now. The next thing we need is the PDF itself. It needs to be ready and zipped. So this PDF, you have to make sure that it has all the information you need in order for you to become a good gardener. Or if you want to grow tomatoes, you can be specific with tomatoes. But this doesn't end with gardening. This can be anything, knitting, baking, it can be dog training. So you can do a PDF pretty much on anything. Now, if you're a photographer, you can also sell what are known as lots. So... It just depends what you want to sell. As long as it's a digital product, I'm going to show you how easy it is to do it. All right, so now that we've downloaded our image, let's head over back to our website. You want to upload it now to your media library. So to do that, you want to come over here to media and then click on add new. And this is where you drag and drop your image that you've just downloaded. Mm -hmm. The next part is to upload our zipped file, which is what our customer is going to get once they've purchased it. All right, so I have a couple of... Uh, zip files here so you can so let's pretend that this image here is our zip file so what i need what you need to do is to right click and then you want to compress by coming over here now you notice that it is now a zip file so what you want to do now is to go in and rename it so i'm going to call this gardening basics there we go now it's time to drag it into our media library so just click on it and then drag and drop it like that. And then we're just going to close out of here. So here it is. It's now in our media library. The next step now is to create our thank you page. So let's go ahead and do that by coming over here to pages. And then clicking on add new. So let's just call this thank you. Okay. I'm going to click on save. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to click on this gear icon. Because I want to remove uh, this thank you gardening here. So I'm going to say hide title. And also the page layout, I'm going to set this to Elementor Canvas because I want to get rid of the header and the footer for this page itself. All right, so now that I have this, the next step now is to create our message. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. We are now going to go with Flexbox. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And this is our uh, uh, direction column. I'm going to select that. All right, so the next step now is to just uh, make sure that this is selected. And we are now going to come to minimum height and set this to VH. So what we need here is just to make sure that everything fits in the whole screen. All right, so now I've got 100 uh, VH. The next step is to start adding all my content. So I am going to now uh, click on this plus button here at the top. And I need to add my heading. Drag and drop it. Next, I'm just going to say thank you. I'm going to center it. And then I'm also going to add another paragraph text, drag and drop it, just below it. And here, I'm just going to say, uh, download your PDF below. Over here on style, I'm going to center it. And then finally, we need the button. So I'm going to click here on add element. And I'm going to drag and drop my button, just like that. And I'm just going to say download here. Okay, so where it says link, this is where we need to add our link. So we have our link options here, as you can see. But what I need now is to go back to the library and uh, add my link in here. But before I do that, I just want to come over here and center it. Now let's go back. So to grab my link, I need to come, I mean, come back over here to media and then click on library. So here is our downloadable. I'm going to click once on it. And this is the link that we need. I'm going to click on copy to URL. Now, back over here on my button, this is where I need to paste my URL like that. 
and pretty much I'm good to go. If you want to go in and customize the text and all that, you can do it by coming over here to style, but we're not going to bother with that at the moment. So as you can see, our text and all our content here is way at the top there. I want to make sure that it's centered, so I'm going to click back over here on the container itself, and I'm going to center everything by um, coming over here like that. So this is going to be our thank you page. So let's publish this and take a look at it. So I'm going to click on have a look. So this now is our thank you page. I can actually click here and you're going to notice that this is going to download our PDF. There we go. You can see now it's downloading. So what we need now is the, the title of this page or the URL. So I'm going to come back to the top here and copy it. Next. Okay, so now let's add our page which is going to be the landing page for our product that we are selling. So I'm going to say add new and let's call this page gardening course. I'm going to click on save. So like we did before, I'm going to click on this gear icon. I'm going to get rid of uh, the title and I also want this to be canvas. All right, great. So what I'm going to start off with is designing our main hero area. So I'm going to click here on this plus button. Go to Flexbox, and this is the layout I'm going to go with. So first things first, I want to add that image that we downloaded in the background. So I'm going to come over here to Style, click on Classic, and then we're going to click on this plus button. Our image is already in our me uh, media library. Here it is. I'm going to click on it, hit Select, and now you can see it's in the background. The next step now is to um, increase the size of uh, this uh, image here, the container itself. So I'm going to come over here to pixels, change this to VH, and I'm going to set this to 60. And now it's time to uh, really position our image because we want to see more of uh, the vegetables here. In fact, let's set this to maybe 70 so we can see a bit more. Now over here on style, we are now going to uh, go to our image position here and set it to center. center. Okay, that looks much better. But you notice that we're still cutting off the head here. It's a bit too much, but I guess we could work with that. Uh, let me see what else I can do here. Maybe we could say center bottom. Okay, that's a bit too much. Uh, let's try center top. Okay, that's where it was. So let's see what happens here when I go to display size and I say cover. Okay, that's much better now. So you can see uh, we can now see more of uh, the vegetables here. It's very important that your image reflects what it is uh, the product is that you're selling. All right, so let me just go back to center center here and see. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. Right, so the next step now is to go in and uh, just make this uh, image here a bit dim because it's a bit too bright because my text is going to be light. So before I do that, I just want to come over here and set this to no repeat. And pretty much I think I'm good. Now, uh, let's go to background overlay. So I'm going to close this, go to background overlay. First of all, I'm going to come over here and choose my color. So the color I'm going to choose is black, like that. Now, this is where you control your, your darkness or your opacity. So I'm going to increase it to about 0 0.7. I think that works. And I think I'm now ready to add my content over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back over here to layout, click on this plus button to add my element, and I'm going to start with my heading here, and I'm going to change my text. Now over here, I'm going to align this to the center, come over here to style, change my text here to white, and I'm also going to come over here to typography, increase the size a little bit, so I'm going to go with EM, set this to about 2, uh, maybe increase it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go with 3.4. Now, while I'm here, I'm also going to set this weight to bold. Okay, that's great. Next, I'm going to add the description for this uh, main hero area. I'm going to drag and drop it here. So for this, I'm going to use AI. So I'm going to click here on Write with AI. So I'm going to say, write a subheading for Become an Awesome Gardener. Next, I'm going to click on Generate Text. Yeah, I think I like this. So I'm going to say use text. Then I'm going to come over here to style, center it, and change the um, color here to a very light gray like that. And then finally, I need to add my button. But this button here is really, really awesome because I'm not going to use my normal button. 
So remember, I say that I'm not going to use any plugins for this, and I'm going to use all the features that Elementor has in order for us to sell our digital product. So I'm going to search for Stripe. And you notice now we have a specific Stripe button. I'm going to drag and drop it here. Now, you have a choice here between Stripe or PayPal. So if you want to use PayPal, just search for PayPal here like that. And here it is. I can drag and drop it here like that. Or if you want to use both of them, it's also up to you. You can use both these buttons. But in this example, I'm just going to use one. So let's go with PayPal. So I'm going to come over here, right click and delete this one here. Next, I am going to now center this. So I'm going to click on it like that, come to style. Now there's one thing I forgot to add and that is the, uh, the price. So let's go back here and grab our text. So I'm going to drag and drop it just like that. And then I'm just going to say only $47. I'm going to center it. Now let's work on the button. So in fact, before I do that, the color here doesn't look great. So that blue doesn't work with uh, what we have here. So let's go ahead and change that by coming over here to style. And then I'm going to go on to the color here. So instead of just going in and uh, choosing any color, I'm going to use the color picker. And I'm just going to select the color from here. And maybe I could go with this one here. I think that color works. Okay, that's looking great. And then I just need to center this once and for all. So I'm going to click on the main container and then we're going to come back and just click on center. So now everything is all centered. Let's go now to our button here and finalize the settings. So with this button here selected, I'm going to come over here to style. In fact, I need to go to content and this is where we need to add the product name. So this is gardening tips. That's the product name. Currency, I'm going to set it to US dollar, but there's a lot we can choose from here. Look at that. We have a whole list of currencies. The price, we said it was $47. So let's go ahead and add that. Quantity, we're going to set it to one. I mean, there's no shipping because this is digital. Tax, okay, we don't have tax. And then next, let's come over here to the button. So this is where we can say buy now, or you can you know rename this. I'm going to leave it as it is. And icon spacing, I'm just going to increase the spacing a little bit to about 12. And then on additional options, now this is very important. Remember, we created that thank you page, which had the uh, download button to download the product. So this is where we need to add the, the URL of the thank you page, which is this one right here. So you want to enter that like that. Now it's saying uh, open Stripe in a new tab. That's fine. Uh, we can also set uh, Stripe test environment uh, if you just want to test things to see uh, if it's working. But uh, the URL here is what happens after a successful purchase, okay? So with that all set, I'm now going to publish this. Now on the bottom here, we can also add, you know, more content, more information or the benefits of um, the product. We can even add testimonials and so on. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here. So I'm going to click on this plus button and add my icon box. I'm going to drag and drop it in here. So first things first, I need to go in and look for an icon that works for my first feature. So my first icon here is going to be of this um, money. And then we're going to go ahead and style it. So on the icon here, we need to change the color. So we're just going to go with the dark gray. All right, so this is my final design. I've added the other two icons. So these are just benefits of my product. So with this uh, gardening PDF course, you're going to learn how to save money, growing your own uh, vegetables, and also get a healthy life <laughs> along the way. So to purchase it now, this button here is the Stripe button. So I haven't set up my API key. So if I click here, we are going to get an error. But this is how this would work. You would click here and this will take you to Stripe where it asks you for the uh, card details. And once the payment is successful, it then takes you to the thank you page where you can download the product. So as you can see, we haven't used any plugins throughout this. This was just using Elementor Pro out of the box. So this is a very, very powerful tool which can enable you to sell digital products using Elementor.